The, the challenges that we faced for our young people have been significant. Um, however, I think that they have proved themselves to be quite resilient in the way that they've you know, managed to adapt and uh, you know, following the pandemic. I mean, we, we've been involved in quite a lot of the work with the, the local authority. So, you know, I've been part of the averting exclusions meetings and the work of the social finance. Um, there's been a lot of online training which we've been able to embrace. Um, so the, the trauma-informed practice and um, a, a, alongside our ways of working. Um, so all of these you know, dimensions have come together and, and I think that they are all really key pieces of work as we try and respond to the needs of students that are presenting to us. Yeah, I mean, I, I think there is, I think it's been a really useful piece of work because what it's made us do is really reflect on, um, you know, what, what are the needs of students? How are, how are students presenting now? How is that being um, you know, how is the behaviour being shown? And, and it's coming out in lots of different ways. Um, what needs to happen next is that we need to focus on the fact that things are getting better, that we are moving to more positive times. We need to continue to invest significantly in mental health and wellbeing services to support our young people because there is a, a, a need greater than ever that is not going to go away and that we are doing our absolute best to support young people as they you know, move forwards and we all find a way um, to, to move to better times.